All right, Ms. Schoenfeld, what has the marching band been like since you've been around? Well, I do believe since I've been around, the marching band has changed a little bit. My goal when I took the program over about nine years ago was to try to put some traditional history back into the program itself. For instance, at pregame, we, there was no real formal pregame, so I went back to what it used to be many years ago, and I found that information just by looking at uh, with Mr. Madden and the alumni office. They used to make a CF on the field, so we decided we should make a CF on the field. So we make a CF and we float it down the field and we make a tunnel because I think it's important to have um, something for the team to run through and for the cheerleaders to have their uh, beat whoever or whatever they're doing for the week and have that paper up there so that we can all see it when the team runs through. I thought that was really important to do to sort of add that. I also thought at pregame that we should have a formal entrance of some sort. Many bands come straight at you across the field from the visitor side and I thought it was important that we march downfield um, so we could have our fight song going and we could practice. It actually helps our practicing marching our 8 to 5, etc. And it's a nice skill to have with just doing our fight song. So I thought that would be really good and went into our CF with that. And recently we just added a fanfare, which is our Superman. And that gives us the chance to actually introduce the whole band and the field commanders as the show starts. <laughs> As far as halftime goes, it's sort of hit or miss with what we do. We have a huge style of marching. We pick many songs. This year, for instance, we did our Disney show because we're going to the Disney um, World in Florida. So it just sort of depends on what we do um, every year with that. For after the game, um, Coach I Marino and I started a tradition um, my first year up here, which was about in 2010, 2011, and that is to do the alma mater after every game. I'm not sure all the students know the words to the alma mater yet, but we're making progress on that after all these years. <laughs> Finally, to the support of the administration, we added um, some part-time help for just like after during like after school and in the summer then we had some retired folks come in at the end of the day to sort of help with the last couple periods and then two years ago they finally officially hired Mr. Szymanowski and he was part-time and he went into full-time and now he is the full-time director and we both work the program and it's been a pleasure having someone to work with and another colleague and a professional colleague at that. <laughs> 